Right, we're out again, another camp. This time, the hill's at the back of Girvin. So we're going to find a spot for tonight and get the tents up. So it's a hill camp tonight. We're going to head maybe near the mast and uh, try and find a, a decent spot to camp. Be back with you just shortly. So I'm going to tap my bushes here. Yeah, that's fine, thanks, Paul. So we're just manoeuvring our way through the first wee wood. What's up? It's been failed, that's, that's wind. It's been rip, ripped out at the roots. I think we'll get a state of that there. It's like the children of the corn. The horror swallow. <laughs> or signs or something. I know. Mad. Make some crop circles. So we're just wading through the side of the field here, so obviously avoiding the farmer's crops. So this has already been flattened. Uh, you see how tall this is getting? Well, around about five feet. Anyway. Here. As you can see this is all overgrown now. Just gonna show this gate here behind us. I came through here. <laughs> all right. No railway line. So, I don't know if you can see in the camera, it's a couple of hills up there, a point with a tripod. So, round about there, we're hopefully going to camp. Other than that, the mast's towards that way, so it's this kind of neck of the woods here. We were relatively high up. That's the plan, anyway. Here's a Craig in the background, that's Gervin. Very scenic. So we're getting up here now, it's took about three days. <laughs> it's actually took about 45 minutes. This is where backpacks are again too heavy. Oh, uh, a lot lighter than last time, but this time it's still, still, still heavy. We need to shed a few kilograms next time, I think. Especially if we're going to climb a few, a few hills, so. Right. Cracking. Here was a Craig Harden behind it. Over there. Was it Sleeping Soldier or Sleeping Giant used to be called? Harden. Old man of arm. Well, the goat fell in the distance. Yeah, great. So, about heavy breed. <laughs> We're getting there now. You see Darn up the top. And that's a mast over there. Heading north. In the distance, that's Girvin down there. So we're getting there now. We've uh, probably 1.3 miles we've climbed, maybe a bit further, so that's about an hour and 12 minutes we've been heading up here for. Uh, for a very uncomfortably large black backpacks. But uh, 
turned up the top this bit just now, so we'll only go to the mast if uh, if we don't get a spot up here. If we find a spot here, excuse me, find a spot here, then we'll, we'll certainly pitch a tent. It doesn't help all this gear with this, but see ho. There's some stunning views behind me, as you can see. Although it's not a, a, a clear night, it is dry and it's warm, and uh, the sun's kind of edging out through the clouds down there. But uh, this is a bit different from the last, so the last camping trips that we've done. Uh, so I'm just going to turn the camera around here and see that in the background. Well, the foreground, in fact, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm hoping uh, I've got enough daylight to get this drone up to the DJI Mini 3 tonight. So we've got the Mini 3. Uh, that's got a very good low, low light profile. So hopefully get some good shots in lower light here. Fingers crossed. Check that view out. Here's a Craig Aaron, given below, and the uh, reflection of the sun in the water. Fantastic. Beautiful night. And there's Darren. He's making it up the top there. You can see him in the distance. We've got our camera on here, so. So this is the DJI I'm using just now for my wee bit. There's a Gro the GoPro 10 there I was using. That's a mouthful, but. Uh, uh, just checking the view out again in the site. For tonight, and background you have, you can see it there, a couple of wind turbines, only about two spinning a minute out the whole lot. And I believe it's a TV mast down there as well. Again, Grant's. I've already mentioned that earlier on, but just uh, I thought we'd spin this camera around this time just to uh, use this wee camera. There was a Craig sitting itself. There's a volcanic plug in it, sitting in the middle of the, the sea there. Aaron in the background. And beyond that, Northern Ireland. Oof. So, tent's going to go up. I'm going to get dried off and I'll, I'll catch you later on. So just determine where we're going to put these tents. I know we said this is a, a spot, but let's try to get a flat bit of ground here. I think maybe in here it might grow. It is in a slight kind of elevation to the right. Um, Darn's got his tent over there. So it's looking good. So last time at the Black Loch, we had a problem with the, the ground was so hard that we had to, I had to hammer my pegs in with a stone that was there. And some of the pegs actually bent. Uh, it, was, it was solid. So I said to Kevin last time, maybe best, obviously, getting a, a small hammer or something. Uh, well, a camping thing, just to, just to chap them in, because um, the kind of, well it's actually a boulder, I actually dented some of the pegs, so. <clears throat> we are hoping for a nice sunset tonight as well, so as all it's cloudy over there, hopefully maybe got a wee, you see the sun's peeking out behind the clouds there, we got a wee sunset. I don't think we could ask for any more than this, really, to be quite, quite honestly. Right, I'm going to move this bag, we found a flatter bit, and as Darren was saying here, it's very stony, so, well, on the ground, you wouldn't think so, but it's quite stony beneath the grass here, so, we're just going to move around here, there's Darren's Jesus tent, so I'm going to put it here, put it here. So the tent's up, but um, I'm not saying it's perfect tonight, it's a bit kind of, of pitch better, it's just the angle we're, Actually sitting right through that here. So inside it looks uh, looks fine. So the mango nevis and Don's got his hair mat. He's blown up there. But look at this, look at this for a view. Honestly. Look at that in the background. Perfect. So I'm just probably the next uh, 20 minutes just gonna get a drone up. It's getting a bit low light, but uh, hopefully I'll get some drone shots before the it's too dark. Excuse the hair, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> so yeah, what a night. What a night. 
Very tranquil. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right, just a quick rundown of the, the kit I've got here. It's a, a Vango Nevis tent, uh, Nevis 200. It's a two man tent, but it's actually a one man tent. If you're buying a tent, uh, always go for the number above. So, a one man tent, uh, a Nevis 100, you always go for the 200, uh, a bit more roomy. Um, okay, so we have a. It's a swore. Hike Nature uh, pillow. We have a. Sleeping mat below that, a trichology We have a foil mat in the bottom, and we have a, one of these foam uh, mats from Decathlon, which are our, our ratings. Is it 2.5 or 3 or something like that? So, hopefully, last time this mat wasn't blown up correctly, and that's why it uh, deflated. I did think there was a puncture in it through the night, but uh, no, I, I didn't seal, I didn't. Uh, Put the plug hole correctly in place, and that's why I lost there. So that's my setup for tonight. My sleep, my sleeping setup. Um, arms over there. You can see we start to cook something. We'll just jump over to Dan in a minute, and uh, he's going to cook some dinner. We're all pretty hungry after that hike up here. So, what's for dinner tonight, Dan? What you got cooking here in the I've got combat stove? Some savoury chicken rice. Good, and good. I've got uh, smoked pork. Sausage. Yep. And one I prepared earlier. A bit of uh, pork. Fantastic. So he's got his uh, cooking system set up. It's a combat uh, stove, uh, very similar to a jet boil. Uh, we did a wee test. <laughs> Should not test it ever. <laughs> what is the best thing? Well, it obviously gets hot. It's the boils water the quickest. But uh, oh, mamma mia! What a hole! Rice is in. He's going to uh, he's going to pour in in a minute. Good campfire tonight, obviously. Okay. I'm just going to hold it down and damage the, the ground for me. So it's pretty conscientious of that. Leave the trace. Again. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I've just took some drone footage there. Um, that's absolutely stunning, stunning footage. Um, there's a wee camp, uh, campsite for tonight. The temperature's really dropped now. Um, obviously my t-shirt's still a bit damp. Uh, damp. Schoolboy error. Uh, never took a change of a t-shirt. I usually do. Uh, usually take socks, pants, t-shirt, etc. But this time. For the t-shirt, so I hope that's drying out the body heat, but it's starting to get a bit chilly. Uh, look at that background there. Here was a Craig, Arden, uh, there's a boat out there. Uh, just a beautiful, just a beautiful sight. Yeah, it's very tranquil here. Uh, very tranquil. So you just see the sheep and the cows. <sighs> Amazing. Yeah, the, I wouldn't be kidding, the climb up here was quite steep for being a hill. I'm going to check the, when I get home I'll check how high this one is. Uh, but uh, yeah, quite a few steep parts to get up. But uh, yeah, uh, plus the fact, again, I mentioned earlier, our rucksacks were too heavy. So next time again, we'll have to start loading stuff, I think. 
uh, take the bare minimum. Uh, it, I'm going to have to get a new sleeping bag as well. I think it's just, it's just, even though it's a lightweight one, it's just not compact enough. So a new sleeping bag will be in the cards at some point. Plus a new tent, I think, in the future. Right, so we've got jet boil on just now. It's quite late at night. I decided to have my dinner light on. I don't know if you can see that there. It's even like fogs descended on us. Quite heavy. So this is came from nowhere. So there's a lot of fog and mist around about us. So it's a wicked spicy smoky dream we mac and inside we have the Mathis sausage. So that's my late night snack for tonight. Well, my dinner. I'll have it a bit later and uh, we'll scoff this and we'll settle down for the night. So I'll see you in the morning. I'm going well. It's around about 12.30. Uh, all calm outside. The fog's lifted so that's me settling down for the night and oh, I will see you again in the morning. Right, morning. Uh, not a bad sleep last night, a bit broken. It's been warm enough, so my sleeping system's worked. Uh, better than last time. My mat stayed inflated. Uh, it's a bit of rain through the night, which I didn't expect, it wasn't forecasted. But other than that, yeah, not a bad night's sleep. So, slept on a bit. It's back eight in the morning. So I'm just going to look outside and see uh, what the weather's like out here. The ball's nice and dry. There we go. There's a dance tent there. Got a great view this morning, fantastic. A bit cloudy, but it's dry in a minute. Right, we're going to get some tea, a bit of breakfast. I'll get back to you just shortly. So this is this morning's view, it's great isn't it? A little bit cloudy. The other kid's got a bit of a hat on. So, <clears throat> I'll cook away a, a full Scottish breakfast nearly. <laughs> he's good. He's got the bacon, he's got the sliced sausage, I can see a tin of beans there. Oh, he's looking good. Right, so goodbye, Sock Hill. This is us, we were last night again, leave no trace, nothing left here except a bit of flat grass. So that was a really good night's camping, unfortunately it comes to an end and uh, we need to head back home now. But uh, yeah, stay dry, weather's been quite fair. We got a drizzle of rain this morning, but nothing to shout home about. So, right, so I just ready to head back. I'm just going to head back the way we came. Thankfully it's downhill this time. We're up and a wee bit later. Catch up with you soon. Still a cracking view. Still cracking this bit, like a wee valley in the middle, isn't it? This dip. For the two hills meet. Cracking. So I'll just try, <laughs> we're nearly there, we're nearly down, we'll just try to weave our way through the thistles, you can see them. They're absolutely everywhere here. It's a field of thistles. Let's try to, hopefully don't get jagged too much here. And nettles now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. This isn't nice. Oh. A few jags here, but. Oh. Oh, that's bit. Oh. <laughs> you filming that? <laughs> what tree was it? Uh -huh. I 
Yeah, Saddam was here in 1987. What age, you think? Yeah, 13. And he's carved his initials on a tree here. DN. DN. 87. 87. That's what's growing a lot now. Crikey. And I've done the two cross swords. Yeah. 1987. Different time back then, far better than it is now. Well, in the world it was anyway. Very good. Nostalgic tree. A few names carved on there. Nineteen forty nine. Nineteen forty nine. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Some a few names. Wild Bill. Some just put. Wild Bill. Right. <laughs> 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 Seven, nine, nine. <laughs> I've probably never seen them again now. So we're getting there now, on the way down here. So let's get through this last bit of these wind bushes. So nearly there, nearly down at the bottom. Uh, it's been a quite a trek, uh, especially through wind bushes and, and thistles, etc. So if you like the content in this video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. I cover things like wild camping, uh, urban exploration, abandoned places, creepy stuff, some folklore as well. So. If that's the kind of thing you like watching, please subscribe for more of the same kind of uh, content. And I'll see you again in the next video of Lone Explore. And uh, thank you again for watching this. So basically, basically... So if you like the content of this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving the video a big thumbs up uh, for more content like that. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> It's a fucking shambles. <laughs>